Good evening, parents of the West Shore School District. This is Mariana, and we're here to discuss something that happened in one of the schools today at the West Shore School District that I am calling the West Shore School District Bathroom Dilemma 2024. So it turns out to be that today in one of the high schools, a young lady that believes that she's a boy decided to enter and use the boy's bathroom. Now, I how do I know this? Because I received a call from the mother of the boy, okay, that the boy was um, shocked. He was not too happy, neither was she, that a girl would decide to use a boy's bathroom. And I don't care what you identify yourself as. The reality is, folks, that it's about the X and the Y chromosome. You're either a boy or a girl. That's science. That's following science. That's following the facts. That's biological science. Anything else is just foolishness. So my concern here, as the concern of many parents, is this. Um, in allowing, in the West Shore School District, allowing the children to use the bathroom of their choice, they are opening themselves up again for lawsuits. Apparently, the West Shore hasn't learned their lesson yet. Okay. For lawsuits, they are also endangering the kid because who's to say that if somebody of the opposite gender, a boy or a girl, enters the bathroom of their choice? And let's say, let's say a girl like today entered the boy's bathroom. And let's say, that a boy tells her to get out because she's a girl or uses forceful words towards her that she might not, out of revenge, decide to accuse him of misbehaving, of trying to touch her, of attacking her, or of hurting her in any which way. Because these things can happen, folks, and vice versa, vice versa. Let's say a guy enters a girl's bathroom Okay, and the girl tells him to get out, as she should, okay? And then he decides to accuse her of doing something she didn't do. Or worse, if it's somebody who, you know, is confused, more confused than, you know, he think he is, and decides to attack a girl. These things, although we don't like hearing it, and it's not pretty to, to listen, it really isn't, can happen and has happened in other areas. Okay, in other districts in the nation. So why is the West Shore School District even going down this avenue? Are they testing the waters? And the reason I say that because I was in a school board meeting in which a man who believes he's a woman was saying out loud that everybody heard him how he was going to go and he was going to go use the woman's bathroom. So are they testing the waters to see what the school board will do? Or how are we honestly going down this road? Because again, the last time any of us parents that go to these school board meetings can remember, the West Shore School Administration said that this does not happen in the West Shore School District. Did we know different? Oh, sure. We surely did know different. We know that what he was talking was yin yang. We definitely knew that. Well, lo and behold, today it's been proven. So it's not a rumor. It's not a lie. It actually happened. So with that being stated, parents, you know, thank God that we still have children with two peas for a brain. Thank God that we still have children that know the truth. Thank God that we still have children that know real science. You're either a girl or a boy. Thank God for those children. But you're going to need to sit down with your kids, and I hate saying this, and have this conversation of how it is not appropriate. And if it does happen, they are to pick up their cell phones, call mom and dad, okay, report it to the office and do what needs to get done. And if they get in trouble, because they're going to try to label them as homophobes, okay, that's what they're going to do, because that's what they do best. If they get in trouble, then, you know, you're going to have to go down the avenue that many other parents have taken, which is lawsuits. Because unfortunately, I would say, you know, sit down and have a conversation with the school administrator. But we all know that Todd Stoltz has dropped the, that has dropped the ball in many occasions and continues to do so. So uh, fortunately, unfortunately, this um, administration, the school administration, 
only understands things when parents sue and then they have the audacity to try to blame the parents for suing because they dropped the ball. So parents, yes, this is something that happened today at the West Shore School District. Um, I just want to put you on alert that it is happening. These are conversations that we have to talk. We have to be loud about it. Um, I would suggest if you do not agree with this, email your school board members, email the administration, and let them know that this is not acceptable at the West Shore School District. God bless you.